Welcome to part 2 of day 3. I continue to remove all those old wall and ceiling panels. The condition of the wood underneath is pretty good for the most part. I finally found the main reason why so much water came inside the boat. There are several drill holes in the roof above the rear cabin. Which is why some of the wood in those areas was completely rotten. Other than that the wood structure looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Next I want to remove the water that sits in the bilge here in the rear of the boat. After removing some more of woodwork I could start scooping the water. I removed the water until the level was below the steering mechanics. And by the way, I got some help today from my wife. Hello. <laughs> She's digging up the goo. Those who come last get the shittiest jobs. <laughs> Next we try to remove one of the windows, so that we can see what the rubber seal that holds the window looks like and order new ones. The principle is that you remove this rubber strip inside the rubber seal, which then should allow you to remove the window but we couldn't manage to remove it without any special tools. Finally, to round up the day, I cleared out some more of the woodwork in the rear cabin. And that concludes the first weekend of owning and working on the boat. The more we learn, the more we discover, the more exciting it becomes. I can't wait for the next weekend to come and I hope to see you there as well.